This is a 3D printer nozzle. And after years of 3D printing, I can confidently say that this is one of the most annoying pieces to fix on a 3D printer. Now, I'm about to tell you guys some tips and some like advice that might help you if you're trying to start a 3D printing business or a side hustle. And uh, I can't help but think that if I had known what I'm about to share with you today, I would have been able to achieve all this a lot faster. It's that a lot of the time that goes into the business is actually spent fixing the machines. Like I said, these nozzles clog all the time and it's super annoying, as well as just other issues that arise. And uh, a lot of time is spent fixing the machines and it's really annoying. I gotta say though, it's not too bad. It's not the end of the world. Uh, it's super easy actually because there's YouTube and you can search like how to fix an Ender 3 for example and there will be videos and videos telling you how to fix it easily which is super cool so it's not too bad. Another thing I wish I knew before I started was that it's easy to find excuses on why not to do something and it's not as easy to find excuses on why you should do something. Uh, if you have an idea for 3D printing I suggest getting that idea out there and actually like selling your product you want to sell even if it's in a prototype phase just do it you can learn and adapt from there. Do it! I know what you may be thinking, isn't 3D printing expensive? And the answer to that is no, it's not really. You can go online and find an Ender 3, which is an amazing printer for beginners and everyone, for only $200 right now, which is insane. So it's not very expensive. And not only that, but it's pretty easy to learn as well. I was able to learn within like a day just by watching YouTube videos. And it's pretty self-explanatory. My next point is, while I'm super grateful for what I do and it's super fun being able to 3D print as like a side hustle, it's also really annoying. Sometimes it's either the most fun thing in the world or the most annoying thing in the world because of the constant repairs and the stress of having to 3D print things for orders. While that may be true like half the time, the other half of the time, it's amazing and it's super fun and I love the hobby because you can pretty much make your ideas a reality at least if they're able to be made into small chunks of plastic. So I, I can't create any anime body pillows, but I mean, I'm gonna have to deal with them. This next thing I only started to learn like after I had a 3D printer and was around it a lot. And that's that 3D printers are super noisy. The older Ender 3s are, uh, they make like, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but they make an, like a noise when they go around and it is super irritating if you're constantly next to it. Now, newer 3D printers like the Ender 3 V2 and uh, you know, most modern printers now, they don't make that sort of noise, but they do have fans, which can be noisy if you're around it all the time. Like, so that's something to consider. You might want a separate room for these things. I've also heard that the fumes aren't good for you. I'm not very educated in that area, but I don't imagine they're that great. Uh, I'm saying that as I'm working in my office next to like eight of these running at once, but uh, yeah, it's probably not the safest for you to be honest. And uh, they're also very hot. They heat up to heat uh, plastic while they're printing. So they can get to be very hot and uh, you know, just being in the same room as them, especially if you have multiple of them, they, they act like a heater and they heat up the room or uh, having some ventilation, maybe like a window open next to it. Last thing here isn't like something I wish I knew, but uh, I just wanna tell you guys, you should do it. If, if you're on the edge and you're like this close to getting a 3D printer or you're like this interested in it, just just do it. It's not, it's not that expensive. It's like $200 for an Ender 3. And if you think you're gonna like it, I suggest you do it. I, I was on the fence and uh, I ended up loving it. It's a fun hobby and you can make some really cool things. There's tons of like wacky and goofy designs on Thingiverse to 3D print. It's super fun. Even if you're just messing around, I, su I suggest you get into the hobby. And that is gonna be the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you're interested in more content like this and maybe some free feed picks on the side, uh, go, go subscribe right now. Uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, and leave a comment if you have a question.